work to this point to try to get Richard M. Nixon elected uh, back president, and we was out at the convention trying to drum up support. In uh, I don't know, they got they they got Bush up there. They got Bush is in. Yeah, you yeah. thought perhaps that you could last minute turn the tides, Chuck. Right. You just yeah, a last minute surge. We thought we could just. You, drum up enough support to get him nominated. It's funny you said drum up enough support because you use music as your language, as your, uh, your right platform. Now. That's correct. Right yeah. now. Now, 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 Jack, what, how, would you, uh, cla well, how would you describe the band's music? Well, the band's music is very good. Very at, good. At yeah. first, you don't, you, don't, you don't dig it until you listen at it. So it's nothing that you hear right away and then you say, oh, that's yeah. great. You, you, it's got you a might listen again. and say, oh, it ain't no good. <laughs> and a little while after, you start getting under your skin, you know? It gets under your skin after that's a while right. now. Yeah. My old lady didn't like that. Uh-huh. But now she's crazy about it. She likes it a lot? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Most of the people in Donaldsonville are fans now? Well, most of them. Yeah? Are most of the people in Donaldsonville pull for, would pull for Richard Nixon, you think, in, a, in an election? I believe so, yeah. Because of the work of, by the, these guys here. Yeah. Oh. We're thinking about writing him in. Writing them in, a kind of a yeah. writing, writing ballot. Can you do that? Yeah. That's what we want to urge all you people out there in TV land. We mm -hmm. want to urge all y'all to, when y'all go to the poll this year, to write in Richard M. Nixon as president. Because he's the only man who got the guts enough to do what got to be done to get the job done. Because he don't care about you, and he don't care about you, and he don't care about you. He care about America, and he's going to do what he got to do to get America back where he belong, at the top of the world. All right. Well, you certainly uh, have a conviction here. That, that's good. I mean, a music band should have at least conviction. Right. Well, that, we, 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 we're political we, for Richard M. Nixon first, and we, we're band second. So it's politics before music. That's correct. Right. Music for politics. L l yeah. and music is our medium. Uh, our that's way what that we I was going to say. Express. The showbiz talk music is our vehicle to express the vehicle. Vehicle. No, yeah. They used it on Entertainment Tonight. I heard that expression. That's yeah. where I got that. Yeah. Very good. Listen, the, gee, the, the lines are lit up. This is like a, yeah. like a, like a this is like television. <laughs> Bob, walk, welcome to the show. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Listen, one question. Harry Carey owns a famous restaurant in Chicago. I was wondering if the Dick Nixons own a famous restaurant in New Orleans. A famous restaurant in New Orleans. No, we don't own a famous restaurant, but uh, we're looking to buy one because I'm a very, very good cook. Uh, in fact, we're going to be demonstrating some cooking later on, I believe. That's correct. Yeah. One of my famous recipes. I'm going to have a recipe book out real soon. Yeah, I heard you folks uh, did some cooking. That's the reason I was asking. What type of foods do you cook? Um, well, as you probably already know, that uh, Hormel sponsors our band, and we do a lot of stuff with potted meat and <laughs> spam, you know? <laughs> well, that's a, that's a good basis. Sounds good to be a thank you. Yeah, thank you for calling, Bob. Okay, look. Well, Bob. How do you know it was Bob? He's the step there on the sun. They say Bob. Now watch. Oh, oh, uh, welcome the next guest to the show. Sicily's Pizza? No. <laughs> Carl, hi. Carl, welcome to the hello. show. <laughs> yes, what, you have a question for our, our, our guest. Let's say, do you think quail is a hawk or a duck? Quail? Quail? It's between a, I, a dove. No, I'm talking about quail, Dan Quail. Is he a is oh. he a hawk or is he a duck? Oh, so well, I'm sorry, we were talking about cooking. I guess that's how we got mixed up here. <laughs> no. No, it's neither or what? Never mind. I don't want to elaborate on that. Oh. Okay, now what's the question again? Uh, oh, it's quail. Dan Quail at first he presented them have stuff as being a hawk on defense for a strong military. Well, let me say this. Uh, Dan Quayle was nominated as the vice president to be the vice president of the United States. If we had Richard Nixon, we wouldn't need no vice president because he'd be <laughs> strong enough to take this country and put it back where we belong. All by himself. That's correct. That's okay. my question. All right. Thank you. Well, that, that's interesting now. Uh, Richard Nixon solo. That's correct. Oh, ah, okay. He's the only man who could get the job done. Well, let's see what, uh, oh, we have Dan. I wonder if this could be Dan Quayle. Dan? Uh, no, this is uh, oh. Dan Marcelloni. Uh, what do you think about Jack Kemp? Don't you think uh, he would blow away Richard Nixon if they would uh, run against each other even though they're both Republicans? Well, oh, no. probably Kemp is a little bit faster than, than Nixon. I, I think he'd probably beat him in the, in the hundred yard dash because <laughs> uh, Dick got a little more age. Oh, he, he's also the quarterback, you know, NFL that's experience. That's correct. Besides, Nixon just got operated on. He, he had hernia surgery. surgery. Oh, huh. that's interesting. So you, you're pretty up, keep abreast of him. Uh, yeah, um, he calls uh, us regularly. Yeah. Well, well Dan, is, did that uh, help out? Uh, well, yeah, but I was wondering uh, who would win if they had a boxing match. Boxing? That's a good question, Dan. Well, let me think. What happened? Uh, I think Dan, Dan, Dan checked out, yeah. Oh. Well, Dan, if you're listening, I think Richard M. Nixon would win. 
All right. Now because that, he can he can put them punches under the table. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I think he has the reach too. He's a pretty yeah. lanky guy. What do you think, Jack? Yes. Is, yeah, it, is uh, sports uh, big in Donaldsonville, by the way? There's a lot of. Oh yeah, they got a lot of sport people on there. Yeah, you know, very interested young in ones and uh, young, old ones. Yeah, yeah. Okay, listen. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see, Jack. We got another call. We have we have Bobby. That is a blank. Yes. Yeah. Bobby. Yeah. Hi. Oh, welcome to the show, Bobby. Well, thanks. Um, I was, I'm, I'm curious to see how these guys feel about uh, the uh, Republican platform. It seems that uh, what's been stressed during the whole convention was the fact that the uh, Republicans want to save our freedom. They want to protect us by build, you know, uh, you know, strong defense, protect our freedom. Okay, but. I don't think they really realize that we have a much more serious problem in this country besides our freedom. You'd have to kill every single American in this country to ever put down American democracy. Now, I think we have a much, I think the Democrats are more worried about drug abuse in this country, uh, racism, uh, things like that that are just eating this country up inside and out. And I was wondering what you feel about that. Uh, okay, uh, thanks, Bobby. Could you repeat that question? I wouldn't listen. <laughs> okay, well, I will. <laughs> no, Bobby, I, th I, th I think we... No, he's just being smart. Ass, no, know. he's being funny now. Um, but any, you know, can to respond? This is a serious question here. Um, I, well, t to be honest with you, I never watched none of that convention because that's all a, a bunch of you-know-what. Uh, and uh, because I knew what they was up to from the beginning, that they, they wasn't going to support Richard M. Nixon. Okay. Uh, we're moving on. I think a very concise answer there. <laughs> Mike, hi, you're on the air. Yeah, I'd like to know. Uh, I just turned on the television and wanted to know uh, exactly what, what the heck's going on. these guys play and uh, you know, what did the lyrics mean? I, I think that's a good question. I think it's a good note, a good time for us to play some music, or you guys to play some music. Okay, you we'll, want to do that? We'll let them explain through their, mu their music, Mike, okay? All right. Thanks for calling. Okay. All right. <laughs> Jack. I'm a play. And, and Greg, we know you're hanging on, so hang on a little bit longer and, and listen to some music here. Okay. Now, what, what is this, this song entitled? Uh, I don't know. I never thought of what I'm going to play yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, what? The answer. All right, this is called The Answer. Yanni, Yanni is uh, the cowboy, Yanni Radical. He's not here. He had to go to the ranch in Houston. So this is one of the members of the band is That's not correct. here. And he, he usually sings back up. Okay, so but Chuck's be... going to try to take his place. All right, Even Chuck. though I can't sing. Oh. Yeah. And uh, let me explain it. This is an acoustic version because we usually use electric guitars and we got a, we got a garbage can that Reno beats on. Reno right. Ray is the trash can player. So instead of a drum kit, you have a garbage can. That's correct. Okay, yeah. and it's high energy, I think, is a showbiz term for this. That's correct. Okay. The Dick Nixons, or at least part <clears throat> of them. Yeah, this is called the answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The answer, my friend, is Richard M. Nixon. The answer is Richard M. Nixon. Hey! 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 hey. Who's the hey. Virgin Mary's second son? Richard Nixon. Who can get the job done? Richard Nixon. In our mind is number one. Richard Nixon. Whose mission here has just begun? Richard Nixon. Yeah, Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. Yeah, Richard M. Nixon. Richard Nixon. Richard Milhouse Nixon. Richard Nixon. Yeah, Richard M. Nixon. Richard Nixon. Hey! 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 Who don't play no silly games? Richard Nixon. Who's always kicking ass and taking names? Richard Nixon. Who's touching everything to go? Richard, Richard Nixon. Who can rock and who can roll? Richard Nixon. Yeah, Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. Richard M. Nixon. Richard Nixon. Yeah, Richard M. Nixon. Richard Nixon. Richard Milhouse Nixon. Richard Nixon. Hey! Hey! the rusty straight to heck. Richard Nixon. Keep the CIA in check. Richard Nixon. Who's the chosen of the chosen few? Richard Nixon. Who you think God prays to? Richard Nixon. Yeah, Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. Richard M. Nixon. Richard Nixon. Richard Milhouse Nixon. Richard Nixon. Yeah, Richard M. Nixon. Richard Nixon. Hey! 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 hey. hey. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dan TV. Well, that really gets the crowd going. Yeah, that's like that. Yeah, uh, Dean, do we have to take a break right now, or, or are we we're hanging on? Oh, we're hanging on. Okay, that, that, that's a that's a, that's a that's a good team now. Thank you very much. Richard Nixon, very supportive of Richard Nixon. That's correct. Yeah, that's yeah. why we're here. You you believe that? You believe that Richard Nixon is good? No. 
Were you, uh, 1984 the band started? That's correct. Right. Why, uh, and that was, uh, Jack, in the beginning, were these, these guys in tune to Richard Nixon from the beginning? That was the, the driving force of this I band? I believe so. You believe so? And when I showed them that letter from Richard Nixon, that you, I got. You got a letter from Richard Nixon? Yeah. That's correct. And I, I got one from President Reagan, too. Jack, we're talking. And, and, uh, and, uh, you got a letter from President Reagan. Do you do you correspond with presidents regularly? Yeah. And and they, they what do you ask them? Not a lot of different questions and everything about, about affairs, of, affairs of the state, the affairs of the heart. Uh, well, Jack's a songwriter himself. Jack wrote a song about the space shuttle, but and he yeah. wrote some songs about Elvis Presley. And him and his wife composed a poem. That's, that's how he got the letter from, yeah, from Richard Nixon. And him from and his uh, wife composed. Reagan, a, too, yeah, him and his wife composed a poem when they landed on the moon. You know the one that uh, exploded up the shovel there? I made a song about that, and, uh, about it, and two hymns about it. Really? Can, can, you, can you read some, <coughs> read some of your poetry or recite some? Well, uh, not right up hand because you got to study that again. Oh, I, I understand. Because, okay. And I, got, uh, I send a copy of the song to, to, uh, to, to Nixon. No, to Reagan. That's Reagan, yeah. yeah. That was uh, my dad's tonight. Oh, about the But the, the other two about the poem, the first first two people landed on the moon. I mean, more later wrote this poem. Oh, that's nice. And sent it to Nixon. Yeah, and he appreciated it and yeah. sent, sent you a letter and back. Some, some of the people said, how you got in touch with the president? We can't get in touch with the president when we want to. Well, you got to got know the right people, you know. <laughs> you have, have the right friends. Listen, Jack, that's real interesting. We're going to talk more about that and more about a lot of things. We have to take a break. Buddy, Tony, and Glenn, hang on. We'll be answering your calls in just a second. Stay tuned.